M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are, Yesu 857D and the U5 Link. We're gonna use this for FT8. So the reason I've chose this one is because I've watched quite a few reviews on it on YouTube and it is, to me, it's plug and go. The downside is that there's quite a few leads, but the upside is that once you connect those leads, it, it just works on WJSTX straight away. So let's just start off by connecting the leads. I'll show you what comes in the box. You've got a couple of these audio leads here. One's going to be for microphone, one's for speaker. You've got a cat lead and a data lead. And then really you've got the USB connection to your PC and to power the unit. And it seems like a lot and some leads go in the front and some go in the back, but it just works as soon as you plug it in. You know, you start to get that that audio link you need, that USB audio link you need to set this up. So let's start adding one cable at a time uh, and then we'll we will talk about where they're going as we do it. So first of all, we'll just add the USB cable in the front. Then we'll plug in one of the audio cables for speaker. Now, it's best to mark the one that's gonna be speaker. So all I do, I mean, I could put some tape on it, I suppose. But I'll just put a loop in it for now. Like so, we know that the one with the knot is speaker. Now the other microphone one. And I've literally never used this myself ever. But like I said, I've watched so many videos setting it up. I'm like, it's quite clear to me how to do it. So, okay, that's all plugged in. There is one additional piece of hardware you might need. I'll show you it in a minute because some laptops, computers don't have a separate mi mi microphone and speaker input. So all you do, you, you buy this three pound adapter that will turn a USB into microphone and, and speaker connection. So that's fine, it all works fine. Okay, so USB speaker mic, nice and simple. And if that USB was in the plugged into the PC, we would uh, have power going. So we're not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna show you the, the two other leads. At the back of the, the Yesu 857 or the 817, and I believe probably radios like the, I haven't got them, the 891 is it, or the 897. Probably the same connections, I would say. So let's just get that to zoom nicely. The first one is the data lead, which is this one. You just gotta be really careful not to mix them up. Have a look at the little flats line there at the middle. You've got two pins quite far apart at the top and two close together. Just just, just make sure they get they should go. If you've got it right, they'll go in easy. Okay, if they if they're hard to get in, then you've got it wrong. We'll just make sure that yeah, I'm quite happy that, that is the right lead, so we'll push that all the way in. bit nervy because it didn't feel like it was going in but then it went in so that's your data lead and I'll show you at the back of the radio where the data lead goes alongside the cat lead so the next one is the cat lead so if you look there's three pins at the top three at the top then there's three with a space then two now you'll find the lead the cat lead is the same at both ends. So let's get it in there. At the back, on the right hand side here, you've got the data connection. So you've got the, see the black nodule is at the top. See if we can zoom in on that. It's just not very clear, is it? It's the one with the, it's quite flat here and you have the arrow at the top. 
there you are, you can see it now, the little nodule, and it goes in here, so right next to the PL2 fiber line, let's just push that in there. Right, we've got the data when I did find out to cut back the actual rubber, otherwise it wouldn't go in the hole, so I just cut it with a with the Stanley knife, just the corners off, and then it went in easy. So that's the data connector that also goes here, data here. So now we're going to put in the cat lead. So there's our cat lead, three pins at the top. You've got the arrow at the top, and then we'll just get them into the uh, into the radio there. Get the hand out of the way. See if I can. Again with the arrow at the top. We're going to poke it in there. Right, all the leads are in. We've got this USB adapter that I talked about. It just plugs into your PC. One is speaker and one is microphone. The green is the speaker. So we'll get the one that we put a loop in. It says speaker. And then we'll get the other one, which is going to be microphone. I can get my hands out of the way. So, this cable and the power cable are now going to go into my PC. And we'll fire up WJSTX as well. Okay, so that's what it looks like speaker, microphone, cat, and data in the back. Speaker, microphone, USB adapter, and then we've got the power lead going in here to the laptop and it's lit up HF radio right data cat cat control basically is what makes you know makes it change frequency so let's see how it goes moving on to the uh, computer <laughs> 